So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install jQuery and add it to our project because by using jQuery, I will be able to make Ajax request because uh, if you use JavaScript on its own, you can do that, but it's going to take a lot of time. And by using jQuery, the process is going to be very, very simple. So if you go to this link, jQuery.com, the official website, jQuery.com forward slash download, you'll find many ways to download jQuery. But the, the method that I'm going to be using is the CDN. So if you scroll, you'll find that here it says using jQuery with, with CDN. And here we have a link called uh, code.jQuery.com. Click on it. And this is going to take you to the CDN version of jQuery. All you need to do is that you need to get the last version here by clicking on one of these versions. It doesn't matter. You can get the uncompressed or the minified or the slim. I'm going to use the uncompressed. I'm going to click on it. And here it's going to give you this link. You need to click here to copy this link. This is very, very important. Again, you need to click here to copy this link. Click on it. Copy to clip uh, uh, board. And then you need to head on over to the project and you need to paste it in your project. So in the in the index here, in the index, in the head here, I'm going to paste the link here. Here you need to paste, paste the jQuery link. Again, in the head here, you need to paste the link that you got from jQuery. And now you have jQuery added to your project. And as you can see, the process is very simple because I'm using the CDN version, which is very simple to add to your project. Thank you.